Hey, what's happening, ready? This is Hayden Adams with A Designer Who Codes. In this video, I wanna talk about how to put text on top of a picture using React. I'm running Gatsby in this instance. And when you hit a mobile or responsive design past a specific size, the text goes out of the frame of the picture and just drops down below to where it normally should be as a caption. And with that, Let's get started. All right, so I've got a basic React project going on here. Hello world, and I'm running Gatsby. It's just a React framework. So if we pull up my source folder, pages, index, it looks like this. It's pretty amazing. Now the first thing we have to do is we have to head over to React Bootstrap to grab Bootstrap in the process. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull open Safari. If I open up a new window, and on the wrong screen, I'm gonna do a quick search for React Bootstrap, but you can also find it react-bootstrap.github.io. And the cool thing is React Bootstrap is just a modern day framework of Bootstrap. We're gonna use the power of Bootstrap 4.5, but install it using React. So I'm gonna to head to getting started. I'm gonna copy the NPM install, come down here, stop my Gatsby develop, and drop it in, npm install React Bootstrap. Notice it installs both React Bootstrap and Bootstrap. That's the powerful piece of it all. The installation is done through React. However, we're gonna use the Bootstrap framework in addition to React Bootstrap. Awesome. So, so far it installed properly. So what I have to do is scroll down here and in the CSS area, I'm gonna say import this bootstrap file. So in the index file, I'm gonna drop an import bootstrap and I'm also gonna make my own CSS file as well. So I'm gonna say import and I also need to create a folder for this CSS file. And inside of my source folder, I'm gonna create both an images folder and a CSS folder. So inside that CSS folder, I also have to create the CSS file. So let's create inside of the CSS. I'm gonna say custom.css, perfect. I have to link it by saying import and going out of this page into my CSS and to my custom CSS. And to make sure it works, what I usually always do is I will say body and give it a background color of let's say purple. The reason for that is as long as it connects up to all these three pieces that it's gonna turn purple. If it doesn't, I have something wrong and I have to stop before I go too much further. So let's hit Gatsby develop. Let's see if everything is working properly. What I should see now is one, no error message, but two, I should see one purple background. And if not, I've done something incorrect. And if I have, oh, magic. It's amazing that a big splash of color just seems to make everything look good. Perfect, we know it's working in the custom CSS. So what I'm gonna do is come back into my custom, take out the body, and I'm ready to continue. What I also have to do is I have to bring a picture in for this to work. So I'm gonna go into my images folder, and I've got a picture off to my other screen which looks like my coffee picture. There it is, coffee, pretty cool. So now that we've brought in React Bootstrap, what we have to do is in index, we have to bring it in here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say import, I'm gonna bring the container in. If I can type container properly, and the container is gonna be from React Bootstrap, perfect. So from here, what I'm gonna do is, after hello world, I'm gonna drop it down and drop hello world down. So far, so good. And nothing, error message going crazy. So inside of here, I'm gonna say container and hello world. If I spell world properly, that is. Perfect, warning error message, container, didn't I, oh, it's at the very top. I'm like, it's not the success message from below. Perfect, excellent. The reason why I want this is I want the breakpoints that come with Bootstrap. 
Now that I have container working, let's bring in a photograph. So below the container, I'm gonna say import coffee from quotes dot dot slash images slash coffee dot jpg. And so far, coffee is defined but never used. Perfect. So if we bring in the coffee, I can say image source equals coffee and alt coffee. Even though I guess this is more of a latte and I think about it for a second thought after I built this project. Perfect. So let's drop in the image. Now here's the thing about the picture. By default, when I resize this graphic, it doesn't really resize. The powerful tool is though that we have bootstrap in the background and there's a class that I can use called not children, but class name equals image dash fluid. That'll make the picture conform to the size of its parent or in this case, the container. So if I save this now, well, it doesn't look like it's actually changing. The minute I resize the browser, now magic can happen. Awesome. So we have this part in. So what I want to do next is I want to bring in the caption down below and also make it responsive down the road. So from here in the container, I'm going to write figure. And in here, I'll say class name equals position relative. And we'll drop it in. The reason why I can use position relative is we brought in bootstrap. And so if we go to, <laughs> go to a quick search of get bootstrap, the position relative is already built into the framework. So if I say div class position relative, since we're in react, we're going to say class name, we can make the figure become relative, which then will make the caption be absolute. Now I don't want to type position absolute here because when it comes to being responsive, I want it to not be position absolute when it hits the mobile side. And so I don't want to write position absolute and then in CSS take it out. It kind of creates this weird imbalance. I wouldn't say it makes the space time continuum go crazy, but I never like to write something inside of my code unless it always is. So in this case, this will always be position relative, but I don't want to write position absolute. because I'm going to take it away down the road in CSS. So after figure class name position relative, we're going to bring up the picture and we'll drop it in. Hit our tab to make sure we're in the right position and we'll just clean this up. There we go. We should see again, nothing really should be changing. It still should look pretty much the way it looks. Awesome. So let's bring in a caption. So since we use the figure for the parent, we can use the fig caption for the child. So I'm going to say fig caption. And in here, I'll say a latte in the morning. We've already used coffee and it really is kind of latte. So actually we'll say a latte, not a cup of coffee. That's a better version of the alt. Perfect. And as you can see here, a latte in the morning shows up below the picture as a fig caption. However, I want this text to show up on top of the picture. That's the whole point of this exercise. So we have to head over to our CSS to add the, I kept, I kept saying resolution, to add the absolute value to work with the position relative. So since we have the CSS file open, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say fig caption and I'll say position absolute. Now what's gonna happen here is not really anything because we haven't really done anything with it yet. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say also bottom is to rem because bootstrap slash react bootstrap likes to work in the rems when it comes to positioning. So I'm gonna keep the same thing going here. And now check it out, it's there a latte in the morning. However, we really can't see it and there's no margin on the left hand side. Now, normally I could scoot this over with a left, but I do want to use the word margin because I can push the margin right and the margin left. So if there's too much text, it'll essentially sit in the middle of this picture. So what I'm going to do is after bottom, I'm going to say margin 
zero for the top and bottom margins, but two rem for the left and right margins. And now what I get is, if I don't click on the wrong screen, I get the text sitting two to the left and two rem from the bottom. Pretty good, but I can't really see it because it's just, well, it's black text on a black image. So I will use color, white, and I will make this font size a little bigger. So I'll say font size 1.5 EM. Yeah, let's not use a double semicolon. Perfect, a latte in the morning. This looks great. We now have the text on top of the picture by just using the fig caption and the index. But here's the thing. When the picture gets to be smaller and smaller and smaller for the responsive size, what I want is I want that text to go back down below the image. So what I have to do is bring in a media query. So in the custom CSS, I'm gonna say at media screen and max width I'm gonna say 768 pixels. Just because for me, I'm thinking if I'm on an iPad, I may or may not be large enough to where the text is gonna show easily. So once it goes below a specific size, it's gonna drop down right down here. So the great part about CSS is I can turn all of these settings off by using inherent. So I'm gonna say fig caption and when the picture gets below a certain size, the position is not going to be absolute, but it's gonna be inherent. It's gonna go back to its default setting, which is not absolute. I'm then also gonna take off the bottom, and I'm gonna say inherit for that. For the margin, what I will do is I will add 0.25 rem to the top and bottom now, but not to the left and right. And then also what I have to do is font size, and I will say inherit to go back to its normal size. And I'm also gonna say color inherit to go back to its parent as well. So we'll go that way. And now what we get is not bootstrap, but a little latte in the morning. Check it out. Notice how it breaks. Now, the reason why I got 768 pixels was from React Bootstrap slash Get Bootstrap. So if I head to Get Bootstrap and I check the grid, there's actually breakpoints I've already built in. So if we scroll down, what I'm looking for is a medium size of 768 pixels. To me, the medium size represents a vertical or less of an iPad or a tablet size. So I use 768 pixels that when it drops below the medium down to the small, it's gonna hit this fig caption. So that's why when this thing breaks at just a specific point and it goes down, not up, it then drops down below and we lose the text over the picture. And of course, when it hits the mobile side, let's drop and inspect. And note, iPhone X, iPad still holds. iPad Pro does not hold because it's larger than the right size in this instance. So it can go back and forth text over the picture and text not over the picture using media queries, figures, and fig captions. Here's also another video you can watch on React Bootstrap and Gatsby. And for more videos focusing on helping you design more and troubleshoot less, don't forget to subscribe here at A Designer Who Codes. Thank you much for watching and have a fantastic day.